Korea's disgraced former president, Park Geun-hye, has arrived at the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office for questioning over the corruption scandal that has been gripping the country for several months now. She left her home in southern Seoul a little after a quarter past nine, whizzing through the streets of Seoul under heavy security protection and flanked by a fleet of police motorcycles. Let's connect straight away to our Huang Ho-jun at the prosecutor's office. So, Ho-jun, we have been watching her entrance, but just describe the scene there and fill us in on what Park had to say before heading inside. Absolutely, Mark. As you said, uh, Park geun arrived at 9.25 a.m. Now, that's slightly uh, earlier than scheduled. And before entering the building, Park made a brief stop um, behind the press line where reporters shouted out questions and camera flashes popped off around us and as expected she did deliver a prepared message all by short uh, here's what she said <laughs> She's expected to have head to the 13th floor for a short meeting with ranking officials from the special probe team before her actual interrogation. The interrogation will likely take place in the investigation room on the 10th floor, equipped with video and audio recording facilities. Park has been summoned as a criminal suspect, so her Miranda rights will be read as well. The prosecution is expected to bombard Park with questions regarding the long list of charges facing her, and the questioning is likely to go past midnight. So it's going to be a long day and night for the former president as well as the reporters and camera crew who have been out here well before the break of dawn. Now, um, the security is at its peak around the office as protesters from both sides for and against Park's arrest have gathered near the premises. In fact, even though I'm at least 300 meters away from the demonstration with a human barricade of police between us, I can still hear the chanting from the various sides. And as I said before, the big question is whether the state prosecutors will seek an arrest warrant by uh, the end of the interrogation. Some argue a warrant is unnecessary as there's a low possibility of Park fleeing since she's the former president. On the other hand, others insist an arrest warrant is inevitable given the severity of the charges and Park's continued denial of them despite the arrests and indictments of most of her alleged accomplices. But as the prosecutors haven't confirmed anything yet, uh, we'll still have to wait and see until the very end. Back to you, Mark.